Start with a semicircle of radius 1. Then take the radius and rotate it a fixed angle. The radius has length 1, and let's call the angle created T. Drop a perpendicular chord from the endpoint of the radius on the circle down to the horizontal diameter. The length of this chord is the sine of t. The third leg of the triangle formed by the radius in this chord has length cosine of t, so that the remainder of the horizontal radius has length 1 minus the cosine of t. The line connecting the other end of the horizontal diameter to the endpoint of the radius creates this triangle, which is isosceles because it has two congruent sides. The supplementary angle to t is 180 minus t, and because the other two angles must be equal, they must be both t over 2. But then, t over 2 is an angle inside of this highlighted right triangle. So that the tangent of t over 2 is equal to the sine of t over 1 plus the cosine of t. Furthermore, if we create this line segment, we have built a large right angled triangle by Thales Triangle Theorem, and consequently the two highlighted subtriangles must be similar. Equating the leg ratios then tells us that the sine of t over 1 plus the cosine of t is equal to 1 minus the cosine of t over the sine of t. The semicircle has given us two formulas for the tangent of half an angle.